and welcome to my show. Today I want to talk to you about Halloween in Japan. Maybe you have seen photos and videos but I'm going to explain it more today. Well, not really Halloween but Halloween costumes. I know it's weird to talk about it right now because it's like so not Halloween yet but I have a good reason. I got invited to a costume exhibition by a Japanese company called Clearstone. Clearstone makes costumes for Halloween, parties and other events like anything that you want to dress up and they sell the costumes to shops around Japan like um, Don Quixote and other stores that sell random party goods. The costume exhibition was held in Shinjuku and it was an event where shop buyers can come in and see the new costumes that will be available for the next season. So by going to the exhibition it's possible we can like see what costumes will be trendy this year. In the past, there were like fewer costume options for dressing up at Halloween in Japan. Like we could always see many girls dressed up in Disney costumes like Snow White, Cinderella, and any other princesses. Yeah, princesses are so popular here <laughs> because everyone's Snow White in Shibuya and everyone's Cinderella somewhere else. Also many nurses and police officers, army, mm, witches. I think I saw a lot of witches and devils, angels, mostly devils. I did a devil myself and I see bunny girls although it's really cold in <laughs> October here. But in the last few years, Halloween has become really popular in Japan, in Tokyo. So people want more costume choices so that everyone won't be Snow White or Cinderella. This is really good news for the companies that make costumes. At the exhibition, we could see a lot of costume designs including Monster High and Sesame Street. They had Elmo and Cookie Monster and Barbies and monsters, historical figures, kawaii stuff, sexy stuff, and really scary stuff. I tried to take a lot of video to show you the different costumes. Mm, I wish I could have tried it on and like put on makeup right there, but uh, I didn't have the time. <laughs> Clearstone also produces the fashion brand of a Japanese fashion model called Amo, A-M-O, Amo. Amo is really popular in Harajuku because she's a model of the Zipper magazine. And also she's one half of the Japanese singing group Amo Yamo with Ayamo and Amo and they're both super models. Amo does collaborations with many popular brands like Candy Stripper and we go but she also has her personal brand. Amo's fashion brand is called Lunatic Lemony Lollipop. Very cute. 
and but that's really hard to pronounce for Japanese especially so most people call it LLL so because Clearstone is the producer of Amos brand there was a large display of really really cute items from LLL at the exhibition in addition to costumes and fashion Amo also has a collection of LLL wigs which are sold at shops all over Japan and some girls wear them in Harajuku or at art parties and use it for a Lolita fashion, gothic, and whatever. The designer of Amo's brand is named Mimeko. Mimeko is a cute girl who used to work at one of the vintage resale shops in Harajuku called G2 question. G2 and a question mark. Mimeko now works for Clear Zone and she was the one who invited us to the exhibition. After the costume exhibition, uh, Mimeko and Amo had a talk show where they talked about lunatic lemony lollipop. I was really excited about the exhibition after party because Denpegumi Inc, my favorite idol group, my favorite idol group, performed live wearing Clearstone Christmas costumes. As you guys know, Denpegumi is my favorite, I'm repeating this all over again, my favorite Japanese idol group. And they played a new song which I only heard on YouTube before and I was really 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 happy to see it live I was like in the front row also one of the Denpegumi members looked right at me and she was my one of my favorite girls I mean everyone's my favorite but yeah and <laughs> I was so happy ah uh, I still huh. and <laughs> it was great to the end of the night yeah mm. like best day of my life. I have so many best days of my life, but it's one of my best days of my life. I know it's a long time until Halloween, and but I'm looking forward to showing you guys my Halloween costume in October. And maybe you can help me out, like, I don't know what I look good in, and I've been a devil before, a bunny girl. Mm, what's next? That's all the fun I had for this episode. I hope it was fun for you too like listening to me talking, talking, and talking. <laughs> and please remember to subscribe. I'm being so annoying every episode, but don't forget to subscribe. And thank you if you're subs subscribing already. And, and feel free to ask me questions on my Twitter and Instagram. It's all in the description box or... It's here. It's here. Bye! See you next time!